writing. In this course, we're going to design the right side here, your profile and some suggestions about which people you should follow. But before we do that, if you can see here, we're having this crowbar. So let's get rid of that. And to do that, we're gonna use an NPM package for Tailwind, which is called Scrollbar Hide. So go to your URL and then type in this search, Tailwind Scrollbar Hide for NPM. And then hopefully you get landed on this first result. Click here. I also add the link in the description to this URL. In here, copy this npm command. Let's go back to our project. In here, let's open a new terminal interface and paste this command. All right, now this is gonna install the package. And as that is installing, it's actually done. So let's go back. If you have never used this package before, you can search about how to use it more extensively. But for now, you know, it's just this simple command, scroll by hide, scroll by hide you know, for responsive design. Now we have to copy this require scroll bar hide. So for that, let's go back. Let's go to Tailwind, config, and in here, let's also add it after the Daisy UI. But require Tailwind scroll bar hide. All right, that's it. Now in order to use this, if you can see here, it says you just have to add this class scroll bar hide. So now if we go back to our home here in the stories list, where there's overflow x auto. In here, let's add scroll bar hide. Awesome. Now, if we go back, hopefully it works. If we refresh and then try to scroll, voila. Now you can see the scroll bar is now hidden, which is looking much better. But it's not, you know, obscuring the text. So to continue with this course, now let's go ahead and design our right side. For that, we can go back to our code. In here, let's just close this. Let's close other tabs here close others so down here in the suggestions let's first create a div and let's say flex item center and the gap two inside here let's add an avatar in here we can add the class width let's say 12 height 12 all right down here let's add h4 with the class let's just add font medium in here we can add fake name so all right down here after we design this one, let me just format it. Down here, we're going to add a section. Here we can add a class. Imagine top four. So another H4 here. Let's say font to bold. Your text gray 700 over 95. All right. Now in here, we can just say this would be a title saying suggestions for you. All right, and then here we're going to have a list of some elements like that. So here we can just say margin top, margin y, and then space y3. Awesome. Here I'm just going to have a list. So we'll design the list later. For now, let's check out how it's looking like. Awesome. Like this will be our profile, like our own profile picture and our name, and then suggestions for you. Here, let's add a picture just like here on the left. So here, let's. We can just go ahead and copy this one, this source, paste it in this avatar class. You can just remove this one, face, maybe like that. Now we have a picture just like the other pictures. Next, we're going to have to create suggestions for you, which will bring some people you can follow down here. Let's just design that. And by the way, like I said earlier, I'll post the code so if you don't want to type all this and just want to watch through the video, you can just download the source code and move faster. But for me, I like to design a little bit. So here in the list, we're going to make this one. Let's add a class first of all. Here, class, say flex, items, yeah, center, gap, three. And let's add an avatar. We can just copy this one to make it faster. An avatar with width is the same 12. Here, after the avatar, we're going to add a div element will make it grid here grid cause seven here width full and gap two well inside here we're gonna have two elements mostly to be here on the top it is going to be div dot core and five since on top is seven so we have to divide it equally i mean not equally divide it accordingly here h5 your font semi bold truncate and text small in here we can just use fake name 
All right, then down here after the h5 is going to be p dot text extra small and truncate this is going to be like followed by fake name so for the next one here let's go ahead and open instagram because if i don't remember what comes next here <laughs> so here let's go back open instagram okay so this is the real instagram all right we have already created the story section here this name right there and next let's create a follow button right there because this is what comes next this is what i wanted to see so next here let's go ahead and say div your course pan to flex text right to five and just to make sure it goes to the end let's add a button it's going to be follow let's say font bold text blue 500 and margin left auto text small all right now if we go back let's go to our own website now awesome you see now you have something similar like that which if we refresh is actually good now here we have to add a few gap there and item center so to make sure that works fine with that i think oh yeah here you see i did cause pan i said cause span supposed to be cause pan so with that now if we refresh okay awesome now it's been thrown to the right so that's good and then one last thing we have to work on is this one if you can see here we have these links which we don't really need but you know let's just design them real quick like that all right so now we can go back to our code and then after this section here we can just name this one saying suggestions let's collapse it now let's say app links in here let's design another section now for this section we can say margin top five in here i design an ordered list flex gap let's say two and then flex wrap because we want it to wrap if there's too much element in the list here list we're gonna say text extra small the text gray 800 over 90 and then font medium and inside here, here just add you know a greater than here let's add a dot hover underline mm. Now, if you press tab, you should have something like that. Here, just add a hash. Inside here, let's add about. All right. Now, if we go back, so we now have these links just like here. You know, they are showing us something like that. So, I think that's it for this video. I'm giving you guys a task as we end the video. So, just go ahead and add all these links. If you want, that is just, if you want to have the whole feel of Instagram, go ahead and add these links to the project our own project here so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one